Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining us for another one of our weekly videos. I think we missed last week, didn't we ladies? We did. We missed. Um, and I, I'm going to take the blame for that. Um, I don't know, lately I've just kind of been engaged in a string of days where I just kind of run from one thing to the next. and Time runs out on me, you know. Anyhow, um, I had a midday appointment cancel on me today, so I'm glad we're able to work this in. Good. Great. Yeah, sometimes things work out. Anyway, um, this has been bugging me. It seems like it has been a long time since I was with you folks for the 10 a.m. Sunday Mass. 10 a.m. Sunday Mass is our biggest weekend Mass almost always, and golly, I haven't had it for some weeks, and I feel you know, bad about that. Um, believe me, it's not by design. Um, things come up. Uh, Father Joe Mott and Father Jim Healy help us out on weekends, you know, and 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 the way um, the masses they take, the way that works out is they're just given the opportunity to sign up for the ones they want to do. And I don't, you know, it just, I don't know, the chips just fell that way. And, and I, I, I'm sorry that I haven't been around lately, um, but I think I've got 10 o'clock mass this weekend. Don't I, ladies? I think I do. I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah. We're in my, you're looking at me across my big time St. Mark desk, isn't it? Here at St. Mark World Headquarters. There you go. So, uh, anyway, I'll see you Sunday at 10. Look forward to it. Kind of got a lot going on this weekend. Um, Sunday Scout Sunday. I'm not exactly sure what attends to that, but I know some stuff does. Also, our RCIA this weekend, it is uh, the Rite of Sending. And um, there's some stuff that attends to that too. But anyway, we'll learn all about it together and it'll all be groovy. Won't it? Yes, yes it will. Groovy. 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 Um, otherwise, I want to remind you about this healing service that's to be held here on Tuesday, the 6th of February at 7 p.m. I'm meeting with the planners of that service this very afternoon over at, um, I keep looking up like that because there's a clock on the wall opposite this camera here. <laughs> um, yeah, 2 p.m. over at St. Francis Xavier Parish where I guess I'll learn more about the service. I'm not the planner of it, uh, nor do I think I, I will be uh, given um, a speaking part at it, other than maybe to say a prayer. Other people are managing it. But I appreciate their intention with the service. I trust it will be good. And um, I hope it will draw some folks who, uh, or jaundiced, let us say, in their opinions about the Catholic Church, and perhaps that service will be able to convey to them that uh, the church wants to listen, the church wants to learn and reconcile. Why, Suzanne and I were just talking about That's right. a group of people like that before we began this little video, mm -hmm. weren't we? A yeah. lot of misconceptions when it comes to the Catholic Church, yes. Yes, ma'am. And of course, more than a few people are pretty comfortable in their misconceptions. Yep. Um, some folks, you know, um, they uh, are looking for an excuse not to belong to the church anyway. I agree. And um, if the church provides them a handy-dandy one, well, you know, so much the better. But for people that are interested in participating in the believing community, in worship and sacraments, and all the things that go along with church, believe me, where there's a will, there's a way. And um, like the prophet Isaiah says, uh, come, let, let us get together and uh, make things right. But don't you agree that there are some times that there have been pastors in the past 
that have really hurt feelings by the way they've told people, you know, you're a sinner, you can't come to church anymore, whatever, that sometimes sometimes there's some hurt coming from the way it's put out You there. bet I do. Um, priests are, are uh, like every other human being. Absolutely. Sometimes um, by dint of their ignorance, uh, sometimes by dint of... Uh, Arrogance? Well, I, I don't know. I don't think there are very many arrogant priests. There's some. Yes. I think more often what you encounter is a priest who's having a bad day. Mm. You know, who's you know, you know, feels like his back's against the wall, yeah. and 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 he just kind of snaps a little bit. You know. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And unfortunately, and understandably, um, that can leave a really, really bad taste in the mouth of people. Mm -hmm. But we don't need to leave things there. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, you want to leave things there. And there are a fair number of people who are content, you know, to do that. Mm -hmm. Just to be honest with you. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But for people who are looking for a way back, people who are interested in reconciliation, um, I'm, I'm all for that. And um, uh, my shingle's hanging out, uh, ready to welcome anybody who wants to talk about whatever the matter is that's alienated uh, them from the church. I don't even know how directly our service Tuesday night will address those things. I just don't know. I'm not, I'm not in on the planning of it. I'm just expressing where I'm coming from. I could talk quite a bit more about the subject, but maybe that's enough for now. Okay. Well, um, that's all I got to say. You ladies got any questions or observations for me? Yes, we're going to talk about fish fry a little bit more. The fish fry. Oh, now when is that fish fry? Our first one is February 16th, just right around the corner. That is right around the corner. It, yes, is. it is. That's a matter of so much urgency. I think I'm going to get up out of the chair here and ask Chris Massick of our staff to assume it so she can talk to you about the important fish fry matters she wishes to convey. Come on over here, Chris, okay. so the nice Catholic people can see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel very important now. You are very important. Yeah. I'm not gonna sign anything. I earned it. <laughs> Um, yes, Ash Wednesday is Wednesday, uh, of course, uh, February 14th. So Lent is right around the corner. Um, our first fish fry will be that Friday, uh, February 16th, uh, serving from 5 to 7.30. Um, if um, you were able to attend any of our fish fries last year, you know that the food is wonderful and um, we always have a big crowd and it's a lot of fun. So hope you can join us for dinner. Um, we're also looking for volunteers. Um, we have four fish fries this year and we really need your help. Um, we are um, in need of uh, uh, servers, uh, cleanup crew, uh, folks to um, donate desserts, um, takeout orders. Takeout orders. Very low on people to do the takeout orders. Yes, yes. yes. Folks uh, have the ability to come in, order takeout. Um, they can also order online um, for takeout. So we need uh, help with folks to run food out to cars in the lot, and also uh, help out the folks here um, inside getting ready for takeout. Did you have a question? Bob? Well, yes, ma'am, but I think maybe you answered it. Okay. When you say we need people for takeout orders, 
That doesn't mean they got to get in their car and drive hither, thither, and yon and deliver no. this takeout order. No. It means they no, got to no, kind of no. help fill them, and then yes. other people will kind of take yeah, them out absolutely. to the parking lot where people are sitting in their idling Packard or we, Studebaker. There you and, go. And you hand it through the window. Uh, That's true. We have two different ways to do takeout. You can walk in, place your order at the table, and they'll bring their, your order to you, or you can get online order what you want, pay for it, drive up, and somebody will walk it to your car. Wow. So we make it very easy. Kind of the old way and the new way. That's yeah, right. It is. That's it is. Right. And that's Remember the, the old car hops? It's kind of like that. There you go. Do they wear roller skates? No, but I bet they would if I asked. <laughs> you don't have to know how to roller skate. <laughs> um, but yes, we need your help. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Um, you can... Um, Volunteer um, on our website uh, in the bulletin. You're going to start seeing this ad. There is a QR code at the bottom of this page that you can scan and it'll take you right to the spot uh, on our website. Or you can just go to, directly to our website um, and click on Fish Fry Volunteer, um, which is uh, on the home page of the website in the upper right hand corner see the words fish fry volunteer and if you click on that you will see uh, start scrolling down you'll see a whole list of all of the volunteer opportunities that we have and if you keep scrolling um, you, there's room for your name and your contact information and then if you scroll down from that you're gonna find um, the volunteer opportunities and so and the dates and so if you can help us for one fish fry, that's great. If you could help us for all of them, that's even better. Um, we, we appreciate the help. Um, if you don't want to sign up online, feel free to call us here at the parish office and we can get you signed up over the phone. Um, did I, I think you remember got it. everything? You got it. Yes, Just invite your neighbors and your friends. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Your kids can help as long as you work with them. Yes. Uh, lots of jobs for everybody. Yeah, yeah. We need your help. Well, we can't do it without you. So All the proceeds. Where are the proceeds going, Chris? The proceeds are going to a uh, fund, which we have been working on the past couple of years and they're still working on, um, is uh, uh, getting a roof for the preschool playground here. Um, Small Wonder is in need of a permanent structure uh, to put over the playground to keep our kids cool, as cool as we can in the summertime. So I um, hope you can uh, come and uh, have a great meal, and um, it's a good cause. Yeah. So, okay. Anything Very else? good. I think you covered it. All right. Yeah. Well, you're sitting over there. You might as well lead us am on out of I, here. Okay. Well, All right. I am, we're glad we were with you today, and uh, we'll see you next week. God bless. Bye-bye.